Hey everybody, welcome to Conversations with Curtis and our penultimate journey through Phantasmagoria 1. Uh, thanks so much for joining. It's great to see you all here. Um, I gotta say, every time I do one of these streams, I get, I, I, it's like I get this, it's stage fright. I get my, my heart starts pounding. I get, I get so nervous. Uh, it's like, it's like going on stage for the first time. Uh, and it's partly because I also make a bunch of mistakes. If anybody watched um, my playthrough of Inside last Wednesday, I I should make sure I'm not doing it again now. I accidentally, I thought I was turning my mic on to say hello. And so I started talking and saying hey to everybody and giving some announcements. And then I felt a cough coming, which I kind of feel we're coming right now. <coughs> and I, I hit the mute button and so I coughed and then I hit the unmute button and I started talking. And then I found out from Daniel and some other people that I actually had it muted the whole time. So you just saw me talking and you didn't hear anything. And then you heard me cough <laughs> and then you saw me not talking again. So hopefully that's not happening today. Um, it's great to be here today. Uh, we're going to play the rest of chapter six, which I know is only a little bit, but we're going to save chapter seven for our final playthrough. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to share with you and to share with Tori that will make today's uh, stream uh, hopefully stay within the same realm that uh, time frame that we normally have. So we have lots to share today. It'll be fun. Um, but before I bring Tori out, I wanted to just share with you some some things that have I've noticed. Uh, so a, a year ago, this week, uh, we brought I broadcast my second ever stream. It was my interview with Monique Parent, who played uh, who played Jocelyn Phantasmagoria two. And uh, and then I just did a little look at the uh, at the YouTube stats, which I don't look at very often, but but uh, it just kind of blows my mind how far things have come. So a year ago now, I had 352 subscribers on YouTube. So I, which I thought was amazing after, since I had only just done the one interview with myself, I guess before that, uh, there were 886 views of the videos that had been posted, a couple of promos in the, in the two interviews. Uh, 213 hours of, of view time and uh, in six different countries. People from six different countries had uh, had watched uh, those first couple streams. Flash forward to right now, and we have not 886, uh, not 352 subscribers. We have 2,379. Uh, we have 103,000 views. Um, to 22,000 hours of people watching our content as opposed to 213 and 30 different countries. People have been tuning in from 30 different countries. So it's, it's kind of mind blowing how much has happened in the last year. I haven't really, I'm sure that the analytics, uh, are able to go deeper into what I just shared, but I, it, there's, that's, it's just pretty neat. And I, I'm really, really thrilled to have, uh, all you join me. Um, okay, a couple things. I just want to uh, welcome a few new patrons that have uh, have joined since last we talked. I want to welcome Selena, Jeffrey, Dave, and Sebastian. Thank you so much for hopping on to Patreon and becoming part of our family. I also want to make sure that uh, everybody who is our $10 members and above get the credit they deserve for keeping us um, afloat um, and keeping things going. So if you're watching, thank you so much. And uh, if you watch this later, just know that we really appreciate all you're doing for us. One of the things that um, we want to do, Daniel and I have are putting in lots and lots of hours to give you content. In fact, here's the difference between last year and right now. Last year, I did one stream a month for about nine months. Um, 
and that was it. I would just have my one interview with one of the artists from Phantasmagoria 1. I would have, bring in some YouTubers to, that, that have played the games that uh, talk to us a bit. Right now, we're doing three live stream playthroughs a week and two interviews a month. So we've really upped our content. Oh, and piss uh, off conversations with Curtis. <laughs> Somebody subscribe to our channel. Thanks, Ag Asgar. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there's some new there's some new widgets I think on YouTube. I haven't figured out Twitch yet. I'm still uh, I, I I'm going to put energy and time into knowing how that all works. But we do have some new super chat widgets. It's all Fantas Two based, and uh, and I think that there are some widgets for tips on Twitch. So and I'm not sure. And if I don't see Twitch subscribers or tips, my apologies. I promise I'm going to get that all worked out. Um, I've just figured out YouTube a little bit sooner than I have Twitch. Um, but anyway, just lots of content, and I hope you're appreciating, and I really appreciate you guys uh, joining us. And then in terms of uh, Patreon, Daniel and I have put our heads together, and we've come up with what we think is a really, really fun... We're going to completely rework the... The Patreon page and the, the tiers and the uh, rewards that go along with that. And uh, it's going to be great. And in the next week or two, we're going to do a live stream uh, demonstration of all the, the new things. Uh, and it all has to do with Phantasmagory 2.1, Daniel's uh, uh, mini game. And, uh, and we're going to be able to recruit many new WinTech employees and uh, excited to share that with you. Okay, that's all I got. Um, why don't we bring out Tori? I love you. <laughs> that's our first super chat. Fun guy plays says, "I love the way you've grown this project and really appreciate all you're doing. Keep up the great work." Well, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, I want to bring out our friend Victoria Marcel Hemmingson. Here she comes. There you are. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I just love your background. I just love how pleasant it is. Is it? A, do you have a nice little patio out there, or what? Where are you? Well, this is my. This is a side yard. Okay. There's some flowers out there. Are you a gardener? Uh, I I do not have a green thumb. <laughs> Me neither. I'm terrible at it. I could show you one of my dead plants in the corner. <laughs> I have to get somebody to help me with them. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's dying. But uh, this is art by our friend Jeff Hoppe, who lives uh, in New York. And nice. um, this is just, I'm sitting, actually sitting at a piano. Oh, really? Do you play? Will you play a little for us? I don't play. I would, it. <laughs> would have been great. You, you, what you can do next time is you can just... Um, on your, uh, on your, uh, you know, iPhone, iMusic, or whatever, you can just have some piano music playing. And then I get to see, like <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for joining me again. We're getting close to the end here. I know it's kind of sad. It's kind but... of sad. I agree. Um, um, it was interesting when you said you got nervous because I get nervous too, Paul. I just want you to know. <laughs> I, I get so nervous. nervous. There's so many things that can go wrong, and I'm. I and get... I don't even. I don't have to control any of 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 this at all but i still get nervous yeah me too i know i think you can't help it you know so yeah. uh well good i'm glad i'm not alone um all right so what i'd like to do is we're going to play the rest of chapter six and and what i want to do uh and i think tori tell me if you're okay with this is i think we know all the things i have a little cheat sheet that tells me all the things that we need to to get but I want to explore all the rooms again, find all the different places. Let's just take our time and let's just see everything. I'm not going to look at hints um, at all, uh, unless we get completely lost. In which case, I'll just I'll just take a pause, and uh, we'll ask for help, and then I'll look at the chat, and then we'll get back on our way. And I think that's the same thing we want to do with Chapter Seven when we we get to that next week or when we when we meet again. Is you and I should just explore the game the way everybody did when they first played it and and we're going to make mistakes or we'll miss certain things but i think that we should be able to have the pure experience that the game intended so that's and again it, when we ever get flustered or what have you uh i will have my the sierra chest cheat sheet and then we will talk to you guys if we need it so 
Sound good to you? Sounds good. Okay. All right. I have some stuff I want to share with you, Tori, and, and I think it'll be fun. So over the weeks, I've had numerous people uh, reach out to me with, with fun phantasmagoria artifacts uh, that some of it you might have seen before. Uh, some, most of this we did not cover in our interview last year, and uh, I thought it would just be fun to, to share. So let me share my screen with oh, you. You see the screen, right? Do you see this? Yes, OK, see uh, you guys don't. So let me get it over here. OK, so first things first. Uh, this is a video that uh, CT by CB. I'm not sure if that's the way you want me to pronounce your name, but that's CT times CB uh, shared uh, with with me, which I really appreciate. And it's it's a excuse me. It is a feature from Channel 4's Games Master that was filmed by a UK crew, UK TV crew during 1994, and it was released during 1995. It featured some behind the scenes footage, which is not on the VHS that you shared with us during the screen. So I, I'm not sure if you've ever seen this, but let's go ahead and uh, watch this and see how it goes. This is Oakhurst, California, right in the middle of redneck cowboy country, the kind of place where if the He calls it redneck cowboy country in Fresno. So I don't, I guess it was, you know, I guess Fresno does have quite the cowboy world. Okay, look at his outfit, I love it. <laughs> the police catch you speeding, they just take you at their field and say, go on, try and get my gun. It's here, in a new multi-million pound studio that a spank the new CD-ROM game is being filmed. Phantasmagoria. The game could prove to be the goriest one of all time, but it all started with a piece of paper and a bloke called Bill. Now these are some of the actual drawings from Phantasmagoria. Yes, these are the, the, the concept sketches. I'll begin uh, uh, concepting an area and uh, let it develop kind of slowly and uh, work. Uh... Tori, have you seen any of this before? No. Never? Mm -hmm. So here's the best part. That is Andy Hoyos, who directed Phantasmagoria 2. Oh. So he was my he was my director, and I spent you know, I, and we interviewed him for our uh, you know for our retrospective, and he's just an amazing guy. But he did all the art direction for for your your game. He was an employee for for Sierra for many years, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh my God, this is great. Um, with our technical people to make sure that, in fact, this can be uh, constructed and made. In, in FMV adventures in the past, some of the acting has been a little bit, how shall I say, cheesy. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the actors like in Phantasmagoria? Oh, no, these are very professional people. This is not like uh, other things that you've seen. Jimmy Hill. Anyway, I... Darn right. Yeah, yeah Victoria Morsel Hemmingson. Or it was Victoria <laughs> Morsel back then, right? Yeah. Morsel. Morsel. <laughs> Morsel. Oh, my gosh. All this time, I've never said yeah, it right. I, I, I should have... You should have corrected me a million years I ago. I I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. egg on my face. Marcel. That's yeah. so much better. Ugh. All right. Fair enough. Here we go. Headed over to the studio to check it out and found the two lead actors going through their paces. She fancied me immediately. Oh, I love that. So that's a really neat shot right there. So you see what it looks like. Now, were you guys able to ever see that? When yeah, you... we could see. We, we did get to look at a screen. To see what it was going to ultimately look see like. Where we were supposed to be standing. Oh, okay. But right. I don't think we could see ourselves in this in it. I think we just saw what it looked like. Well, obviously, if you stepped out, maybe they had like a, somebody uh, as a stand-in or something like that. But or, yeah, I mean, I mean, like we could, we were facing like the screen. We could see. We could look as we're standing on the stage at a screen of the room that we we're in. Gotcha. But I, I think maybe we could have seen ourselves in it. I can't remember that okay. part. All right. I was going through their paces. She fancied me immediately, but then her bloke was grumpy. Don, Look at that. Leave. Look at you guys. Please. That must have been so hard. We've got to get out of here. Look what this, this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. This is our home, Adrian. They begged me to interview them, but I said I'll only do it if I can sit on a picnic blanket. How different was it, like, doing... Do you remember this interview at all? 
I do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like his sense of humor. So they they beg me yeah, to interview fun. him, <laughs> to interview them, but only if I could sit on a picnic blanket. <laughs> I see you wrong game acting as opposed to TV and film. It's quite different. It's it's a lot more technical. Much more technical. We we'll be in the middle of the scene and doing something. They'll go, wait a minute, your arm's in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Which wall is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to completely use your imagination for everything because you have nothing. Oh, that's great. I love that, seeing how that. <laughs> So you're right there. Yeah, you never saw that, right? Yeah. Huh. I've seen nothing there, but parts. You know, of... Just the other after. Say again. I've seen parts of this. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Some of this was on. I mean, there is some of this. It seems to be a crossover in that in yeah. that uh, making a video. I haven't done it. What do you prefer? Or maybe you shouldn't say it. Oh, see, way. wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> This was all getting a bit too nicey-nicey for me, so I headed off for some light relief in some toilet somewhere. Ah. Now, she obviously slaps it on with a trowel. Well, yeah, Whereas uh, this lady here, this is actually Judy Finnegan without her makeup on. We don't know and she this girl, actually, she's in two minds about the whole thing. There you Strangely are. Strangely aroused by what I'd seen, I set off to confront head honcho Roberta Williams, <laughs> and I asked her if it was big and clever for a bird to make a gruesome game. Oh, we just saw that. Um, I don't, I, I don't think of it as gruesome. Um, it's horror. You know, horror is, is a horrible subject. Horror is scary. You know, horror haunted, like a haunted house. But I really think of it more as a, a thriller. You know, it, it, it's a thriller. It's a... Uh, it, it is a scary story, but but gruesome isn't a word you know that I, I think of in terms of phantasmagoria. Yeah, it's pretty right. gruesome. Well, locks to that then. We'll just have Perfect. to resort to that other mainstay of late night telly instead. There we go. So that was that. So that was uh, pretty pretty fun. Um, That's great. And then uh, and then this one came in from uh, Michael Lauber. He sent me this uh, video that he found uh, somewhere, and he says in 1998 or 1999. There's a watermark on it, but it was the best uh, quality we can get. And this, I'm very interested in your take on this. Um, it's a. It looks like a. It looks like a moment that was caught. Uh, well, I just want you to watch it. Let's just go ahead and watch this oh. moment. All right. Oh, shit. Tori, are you okay? Oh. Right. I told you not to jump. You know we don't have insurance for you. Well, I thought I could do it. Well, next time I can send her, she'll do it. Let me get it. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm okay. Is that a tape or we're going to do it again? No, that's good. We'll just keep it up. I'm just sorry. Okay. Do you have any memory of this and what? I remember that. I can't remember why we were doing that, but it was a little gag we were we were doing for some reason. But I don't remember why, what it was for. It's awesome. It, it does. I could tell like right away. I was like, it looked too, like, it, it looked like the cameras were all perfectly placed for it to mm -hmm. have been a a real thing that went wrong because it starts on the director and usually there's not a camera on the director, right? But it's funny. And I love that he says that, <laughs> they don't have insurance for you. Yeah. <laughs> so don't don't put yourself in any danger because they can't afford it. Um, yeah, what's we do have a little gag, but you could see it's interesting how it looks like. Yeah, when you when you see with with the um, you know the set, it looks like I'm falling down something, and then how it shows me on the actual stage and how much imagine you know like how much I have to imagine that I'm like climbing out of something oh is that sort of is it it, it sounds to me like you were able to like look at the camera or look at how it would look on somewhere along the line you were like oh it would be fun to kind of to kind of have fun with this moment right but we were doing it for something and i can't remember what um but yeah so as i'm in the scene before like i go into the the um the take that we're about to, to do i can see where I'm, where I am in the game is not where I am in the game, but I can see this. I don't know how to say it, the set, right, right, you know, on the screen and kind of put myself there. 
but then you have to exaggerate like trying to climb out of something if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah let's watch it again I'm only, well, I'm only going up like a foot <laughs> but I you know <laughs> it looks like you're climbing up I love it yeah all right let's let's look at it one more time oh I had to get you you and I could see it but they can't there we go I hear a big noise. Oh, shit. Tony, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> I told you not to jump. You know we don't have insurance for you. I told you not to jump. We know you don't have insurance for you. <laughs> well, I thought I could oh, do okay. it. Remember when... I thought I could do it. I love it. Well, we remember when there's that, there was, we were going down the stairs and I stopped because there was like a big area where the stairs were missing or something. And I say, it's too far to jump. Right. Well, isn't there yeah. also a moment with um, with Cyrus where you're supposed to leap over and you had to, we had to turn, knock the tree over? Oh, yeah. So it was either, maybe it was one of those two. I don't know which one that is. I don't know if this is in the stairs or. Okay, but that, that's that's yeah. great. So that's, uh, <laughs> you're, you're selling it really well. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit. Oh, well, I thought I could do it. Well, next time let the stunt person do it. Next time let the stunt person do it. Like you had a stunt person, right? No, no. <laughs> no, no. You did your own stunts. Oh, yeah. He's dangerous. And there's helping you out. All right, I'm okay. And you're right there. That's really fun. I love it. I like it. You're just a little step. <laughs> <laughs> and you're so wholesome. You're getting up. You go, oh, gee. You said, oh, gee. I love oh, gee. it. I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> I don't think, I think I did know that. Where Where in Wisconsin were you from? Madison. You're from Madison. How, do, you, do you ever go back to Madison? No, I mean, well, I was in Wisconsin last year. Um, I, I would go back for summers to see my grandparents. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right, so here's some other things. Here's just some photos I want to show you. Um, so this is the original box cover that Ooh. came out that's in the U.S. Right, so I have... Oh, wait, let me... Hold on a second. Let me make sure this I share this. the back of my T-shirt. But look, how, look at the big hole in my T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is seen. That it's is... Shredded. That it's is, shredded, but it's the same. Yeah. That's your Most original T-shirt. Oh my gosh, let me see the hole again. It's, it's one under each <laughs> armpit. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so uh, shredded. That it's is my awesome. Comfy shirt and it got so shredded. That's so yeah, cool. The the box. I love it. Thanks for sharing that. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is that original uh, box that most of people, uh, anybody in the US got, and that's the back. That's the back of it. And then um, then this one was sent in to us from uh, Morin Weissman. This was the cover in the Hebrew cover. Oh. And he sent it. This is an unopened, complete. It's still in, the, in, in its original wrapping, the cover. Wow. Yeah, isn't that something? Look at that cool, that, that, the, the cool font and the, the, the way that they. That's really cool. And then this is the back of that. So totally different pictures. Well, I guess they're the same pictures, but just in a different Some order. Different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're just rearranged. Yeah, there's that one versus that one. So we got those five. And you mm -hmm. got the lettering up. Oh, you got the lettering up here with the five pictures here. And then there's that. Yeah, that's one. It's, a, it's kind of the same, but a little bit different. Um, and then this is the, uh, the what the CDs look like in the U.S. And then Daniel Albu, who's from Israel, shared us what his original CDs look like. So all the CDs that came in that package actually had an image of oh, Adrian wow. on there, which looks really cool. Wow. Yeah. And I've then, never seen that. And then this is the Japanese version. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry okay. About that. And then Daniel was able to cut together uh, some really interesting footage 
uh, from the Japanese game. Sorry, I'm using YouTube to, or not YouTube, I'm using iMovie to, to share all this stuff. Um, so fascinating. And it's called Phantasm as opposed to Phantasmagoria. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and then uh, here's some things he wants me to observe, to observe. So here's the beginning of the game. It says copyright 1996 Sierra Online Inc. All Raihis reserved. <laughs> R-I-G-H-Y-S. <laughs> and then there's the music. Here, I'll turn the music down a little bit. Like that. Phantasm. And look at the cursor, it's huge. So that cursor that you get to, it's like twice the size of the one that we have. Maybe if, so I wonder why that is. I don't know, but maybe had we had a bigger cursor, we would have gotten, we would have found more yeah. things, who knows. Um, let's see. Oh, and then there's something about the inventory. Oh, what happened, there we go. So the, he says the inventory, is set is a separate screen so when you get it oh wait what happened let's see okay we'll get that here let's see what else oh we'll see the inventory in a second here's the basement oh and then if you if you want to get there you go so you get a whole different screen for the inventory and there it says, oh, and you have a map of the first floor, which would have been great oh. to mm -hmm. have for us. Uh, but it's its own it's its own screen. It doesn't it's not at the bottom. Oh, that, well, that's that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, say it again. Well, it's interesting. I mean, I wonder why they they just have different requirements for uh, what people are. Is it what people are used to? It's I don't know. Yeah. So and it is uh someone was asking i just saw this the chat it's a sega saturn was what it was from i'm not sure what that means but it was from sega saturn um uh and then what else here yeah the map of the floor i didn't know you could speak japanese no wonder you got the part you could do everything you're in stunts キラしてるわ。そう。<笑><笑><笑> Oh, that was too good. Let's see that part again. All right, I like this. I like this screeching from the. Uh... <laughs> that music. That. <laughs> okay. So the last couple things. Oh, no, that's fantastic. It's so much fun to watch it in Japanese. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, somebody just um, somebody just shared with me on on Twitter uh, the German translation of uh, from Phantasmagoria 2. So they showed my character, you know, talking to the police lieutenant in German. And then apparently that same uh, actor who did the, the translation uh, they, they, he also had translated uh, some film that Peter Dinklage had, had had was in. So we got to hear the same voice in German uh, with me, and then Peter <laughs> Dinklage. So, oh so you know, me and Peter, we were hanging out. Yeah, we're we're we're, <laughs> we're in the six degrees. Okay, so um, Daniel, as always, has uh, put together some really fun. Uh, so Fantas Two gets streamed on Twitch pretty much every day. So somebody from somewhere around the world is is playing your game and uh, people are watching it. And so he found three short 
clips from different uh, playthroughs over the last little while. So we're going to watch a couple of clips of other people playing our game and seeing if they, seeing if they're as you know skilled as we are at our uh, our you know incredible gameplay here. Here we go. I've got to get back to work. This are you one is okay? Larksa, I believe. No, J. I, I think Larksa is the name of the, the the gamer in the bottom corner there. Yes. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were brother Calm sister. Okay. I mean, they still can be brother sister. <laughs> she thought she. Thought the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is, I think, I hope I got this all right. I might have uh, ever more games. This one's pretty funny. No, eerie music. I don't like it. Oh, he's from Scotland, I think. And we got we got scared in this moment, too. I just realized it's Hello. a stable as well. I don't like it. <laughs> God, Spaz. You scared me. <laughs> what a nice kitty. Don't do that. I forgot she had a cat. <laughs> and then this is... <laughs> and this is scum and villainy. Let's see. Oh, no, we haven't. New corner get. Oh, I don't know where she's from. UK? Say something, Adrian. Anything, really. Oh, God. <laughs> Dog, don't scare me like that. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. You never know who will be sneaking around this place. Sneaking around like you? It's not me, Adrian. <laughs> no, okay with this. All right. And then the last few things I want to share. Um, uh, on our Discord channel, uh, one of our members who goes by the name Aimlessly, uh, he found uh, on apparently online, somebody years ago posted uh, scans of maps uh, from Phantasmagoria from Lorelai Shannon's book. Uh, so he posted them for us some of them he tried to not show us everything because it might uh it might ruin some ch uh, but anyways this would have been very helpful to have so yeah. this is this is uh an overhead view of uh the carnivash estate we see uh oh let's see if i can keep this here we see there's our house right mm -hmm. there's the driveway that's the main town. There's the carriage house, which I always have trouble finding. Uh, what else do we have here? The wall, the garden, all these little areas. So that's pretty cool. And where is the, the greenhouse? And I think this is a different one here. So this is, oh, that's, wait a minute. That's the town. So where is the greenhouse? Let's see if I can, um, I've got it kind of small here, so I don't have it. Uh, where is the greenhouse? We still can't see it. Uh, there's the gate to the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go bigger here so I can see some of the stuff. Oh, there we go. Um, gate to garden, garden wall, path to the greenhouse. Oh, the path to the greenhouse is right there. And the that's the telescope. Okay, that's and what the I greenhouse thought. right up there. That's where we had the hardest time getting to. That's the crypt. That's the uh, fallen tree. The crossover and then the path to the crypt right there. Yeah, so we <laughs> this would have been nice to have. Yeah. Uh, this is the town. That's the that's the and then they have all this stuff or like the reception hall. This is the inside of the house. The second floor of the house, that would have been super helpful because I always got lost in <coughs> Marie's bedroom. There's the reception hall, the dining room, the kitchen, the library, and the chapel, the theater. And then Don and Adrian's bedroom, the bathroom, nursery. And then uh, he was 
kind enough to make these uh, uh, screenshots that would help us find <laughs> find our way. So there's. Oh, okay. Now we're kind of getting a better sense of it. So the backyard, the gazebo, the fountain, the crypt, the greenhouse, the telescope. This stuff is would have been infinitely helpful. Mm -hmm. And we have one more chapter. I think we're going to be running around all over town, so we should keep these these handy. Yeah, um, yeah, that was, would have been helpful, but then it wouldn't. It, it you know, it, part of the fun was getting lost. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So here's all the stuff. The all right. I think that's all I've got here. Yeah. So there we go. That's our little moment before. Uh, Let's get into the game now. So again, partly I'm just padding for time because I know that we aren't going to be able to get very far. Oh, let's go back to this. Auditorium. That was so fun. Those were great. Oh, good. Yeah, I thought that was I thought you'd get a kick out of that. So let's do that. I'm going to get rid of turn this off. All right. Um, let's see, I'm going to close a couple things down. And I'll check the chat out really quick and then we will. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's good. OK. Bum, bum, bum. How's it going, chat? I haven't seen you guys. So let's see. I'm going to scoot up a little bit. We need a Phantasmagoria Gabriel Knight crossover adventure. Definitely. YT Wander. Dang, that's too bad. But I know from some other games it needs a hardcore fan and graphical artist to recreate them. Are we talking about? <laughs> Right said, Brad said, I'm going to sit in 10 more minutes trying to find the greenhouse on the map. I might have, but I, I figured it out. Anyways, I'm glad you, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, uh, and thank you, Daniel Alvu, for editing yes, all that Sega you. Saturn stuff and everything mm -hmm. that you contributed to today. Can't, can't thank you enough for all your contributions all the time. Um, all right. So without further ado, let's get back to our game. What do you remember happened last? Well, I don't see the screen. Okay. Oh, I have to reshare re for you. All right. I got to do a reshare here. Do, 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 do. Back to basic. There's the game. That should be popping up. And then here we are with the game. I think we're all good to go here. All right. Here we go. I think we want to. Here's what I think we should do is probably re explore the um the secret passage way and i don't think we saw all the stuff that could be in there or there might be new stuff in there right now and, okay and, that the, sounds and then i think just maybe checking out all the rooms to see if anything new has happened and then we should go into town we haven't been mm -hmm. in town for a long time and um i don't know we could even go find the greenhouse if possible i still <laughs> i don't know if i know how to get there still but uh all right let's give it a go Dun, da, da, da. All right. Everybody hear everything? I see desktop audio is working. Do you hear everything on your side? Sorry. I hear everything. Uh, I think so. Okay. All right. I don't see the, the television isn't working. Oh, so let's try the television. Yeah. It should be like, it hasn't done anything yet, right? It has to do something in the other. Mm. In the chat. After all these chapters. It would have been cool if like every time they went to the TV, there was like a different television thing going. Is there anything? Oh, your, your computer was all smashed. We remember that, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Where do we want to go? I think we have to. So I, I know that we're supposed to look in your dressing room mirror. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's that. It's been a while since we've looked at the picture. Does it, has it changed? Oh, let's check. Oh, that doesn't work anymore. All these things are not hotspots anymore. The one thing I know that I can do better mm -hmm. than most gamers is <laughs> stall <laughs> 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 and, and just look at things over and over again. Ooh, has that changed at all? Oh, yes, it's like a face now. It's more of a, I, I see like a mouth. That never oh. changes, right? No. 
That, is that different? That's different, right? Yeah, that's the. Yeah, that looks more. Even, All right. And we've done all these things. Is there any reason to go? Yeah, okay, that's all the same. You'd think that they would make those that not a hotspot anymore since we've already done the thing, right? It seems like there are times when things become unclickable once you've used them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that one remains clickable. Yeah, that's strange. All right. Um, I doubt we need to use the bathroom. Unless you want to. No, we don't need to. <laughs> no more Easter eggs for. Um, you want to check either of these rooms? Sure. Let's, let's, is that the baby's room right mm -hmm. there? Or? I wonder if all these rooms will become very different once we enter Chapter 7. This all looks the same. Oh, you can't even get that anymore. Yeah, none of this is even clickable. All right. Um, okay. I'm not really looking at the chat, you guys. So um, I will try to be a little better just in case I'm missing anything or there's some technical problems. Uh, Daniel, I didn't have Discord on. So if you need to get a hold of me at all, I have it on now. Just to make sure. Okay. Um, all right, let's go in here. And my guess is we've done all this stuff already. Sorry, my family's being noisy. I don't know if you can hear that. You can, but it sounds, it has this mysterious quality to it. It sounds like there's something, something, you know, it's good. It, it has a, it adds a little, uh, yeah, a little murmur. intrigue and murmur. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That little bed just, all right, we've done all this. Nothing new. That's, is that the greenhouse? That was the greenhouse, right? The one that we can't find. I think so. <clears throat> there we go. I love it. Yeah, they did a good job. Looks like it. And all this stuff is the same. There's nothing glowing or no anything in here. One thing I know. I'm sorry. Say that again. I was gonna say not not a lot has happened up here. No. Like um. Wonder why we can't. What, does this ever do anything? Because again, we just have this sitting here. We can never take it. It doesn't get into our inventory. Oh, that's the little baby that. Yeah. So that's gonna. Is that gonna come into play as sort of our 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 friend? I don't know. Um, all right, I guess nothing really to see here. Yeah, any house sound at this point sounds like it's coming from this house. So you're, you're good to go. This is just feels like extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Adrian doesn't seem concerned. Don't worry about keeping quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I just announced I was going into the live stream. <laughs> yes, you are. This is. I don't think they understand the importance of, the, no, of, of this event. This is, you know, never before seen you playing your game. This is huge. All right, we've done this a bunch. There's nothing in here. Will this ever become a, this? These rooms all better have significance in chapter seven. They better. You know? uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> I wish I remembered more, but. Can we hear him do some cackly laughing? Done. She's getting mad now. We oh. haven't seen him in a long time. No. But we did that that was the last time we did hear that all that cackling, mm -hmm. which I thought was that was kind of creepy and cool. Very cool, creepy. Did he was that something that you remember him that choice he made for that kind of uh, that in, in fact when we had our interview at the very end he did he did it for me he, he did a his sort of creepy laugh towards 
towards Curtis. It was pretty fun. Uh, all right, we've seen all this. I don't remember talking to him about the ch making that choice. I think he just yeah Is he, it? he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Are we done with it? all the cigarettes? Maybe there, come on. There's got to be one less cigarette because there's got to be something has to change. Nope, just that. Okay. All right, there's nothing in here. All right, I think Wouldn't we've done it. Would be funny if she just pulled out a cigarette? And just <laughs> that would be off. awesome. <laughs> Did you smoke in your day? Were you a smoker? No, no. no never at all? Mm -mm. How many cigarettes in your life or how many puffs on a cigarette have you had? Gosh, I mean, yeah, I've met, when I was younger, I tried it just because, you know, maybe like two yeah. puffs. I think that's one more than I did. What about I, you? Yeah, you too. I never did. My parents were smokers. Um, yeah, my mom was a smoker. She still smokes. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My my mom smoked. Uh, I lost my mom a number of years ago, but uh, uh, oh, but she uh, she was a heavy smoker and hated it. She hated that she was so addicted to it. Wow. I mean, she probably smoked a pack and a half a day. And um, but just watching her smoke and how much she was a slave to it was. Mm -hmm you know, enough of a reason never to start for me, you know? Yeah, I I never liked it, <clears throat> but thank goodness. Yeah, me neither. Um, should we, let's check her out. Let's see, do we already, oh, she's gonna knock. If you knock, I'm not gonna, yeah, you're gonna knock. Okay, um, oh, Mike's here. I don't, oh, we've already talked to him. I think he's the end of the chapter. We have to come back and talk to him. So let's just see if there's okay. other, let's check out the, the absinthe. It sure is taking Mike a long time to fix that phone. <laughs> He's working hard. <laughs> um, nothing more to see here, really. I can see why people... Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, so maybe this is going to be... Oh, now there's nothing in here. All right. Um, but let's do... The, let's do... Oh, let's go down. Let's go to the kitchen and the, and the basement. And we can, we'll wait to go outside uh, when we go into town. Oh, see, now they can't do that anymore. Like, why do they let us pick up that, that green house skirt, but they can't let you get a drink of water, for goodness sakes. Yeah, it's strange that. I bet you a million dollars there's something new down here. There better be. I mean, we haven't, we're not that deep into chapter six, or maybe we are, I don't know. Aha, there is some place in the house that we haven't been to yet, says CT by CB. Okay, hey. all right, it's good to know. Okay. Somewhere in the house we haven't been to yet. All right, let's go. Come on. Ooh, what, where have we not been to? Well, did we explore the whole um, area behind the, the theater or below? I don't think so. That's a good point. It, it, it's probably, it seems to me that it might be uh, to do with um, the secret passageway, right? And the theater, because those are our newest, newest spaces, right? Yeah. I've said it before, but I would never go into this room and turn my back on that door because I just I can just imagine getting locked in there. Absolutely. And this has to come in again. All these things have to. OK, so there is nothing in here. Oh, wait. No, and no, and no. One more time just to see if I'm nothing. And there's nothing here, 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 here. All right, I thought there would be something here. Okay, so let's go, let's go secret passage it up. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Bump and bump. No, I just got to remember how to get to the secret passageway. Oh, it's through that, through the theater. There's a couple ways. We have to go. 
Do you remember how to get through the secret passageway? Through the door. Um, <clears throat> you know, the door that goes into the theater is that door that we couldn't get into. Okay. So it's... It's open. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's see. This way, right? There it is. There. There's there the it theater. Is. Door's just open now. Now that's the. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. Wait. It's only open from the other side. I forgot there was like a. We got in here somehow, right? Didn't we like. Oh, use this thing? I don't know. Is this how we got in last time? Uh, I thought we had a way in here. Maybe not. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> we can always use the hammer. Um, no. All right. So we got to get up. Oh, we go, was it through here? Was it on, backstage? Oh, through there, I think. Oh yeah, we had this. But wait, what did what did she say when she was looking at the wall just now? I can't get in. Like something like I just I it's, there's no I can't I can't there's no there's no way in. Um uh, that doesn't work for this. Or no hmm. Yeah, right. What about that? What's that ladder? I know, you think that it's, it's not. No, it's the same thing. You can't get up the ladder. You think you could. This is when you don't, this is what happens when you don't play for a whole week and you're, you have a life that that deletes all the stuff and then you. Yeah, I, I cannot remember. Okay, towards us, right? No, that's the exit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't do any of this stuff now. All right, I know that the the, the main passage was upstairs, right? We, we, oh wait, the main passage was, it had to be upstairs, right? How did we find, where was the original sort of like we had to get into the, uh, <laughs> I thought it was from here. No, this, we, we came out that door and then was it? Okay, chat. How do we get in? How do we get back yeah, into the? We forgot. How do we get back? We forgot. How do, in the round room. Uh, the round room. The round room. Is that the? The conservatory. Yeah. So that's upstairs, right? <clears throat> All right. Doink. The conservatory is. Not these two dudes. Wait, well, I forgot what room that was. That's Carno's. This is. Oh yeah. There's the. Oh, this is where we start. Okay, nothing in here. All right. Oh, it was here. It was here. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we. That was over. Right. The wall. And then I forgot how we got in. That's right. Now it's coming back. Uh, must have been this thing. Yeah, the. No, it wasn't that. What was? Was it a? Oh, I have to. I have to. I think I have to tr open it first. There, right? And I don't then... think we used this. I think she just. I thought she just touched the wall. Really. Should, should we try the hint keeper? Uh, well, he was going to tell us to go into town. Someone in town knows yeah. all. Yeah. Seek him out. Mm. Oh, we're not going to listen to you right now. Um, oh, there we go. Right. Okay, there we go. I think. Boink. There we go. Now we're in. All right. Boom. Look at us doing everything. Okay. How did we, I mean, we just that just went right out of our heads, didn't it? <laughs> We would be the most inept uh, crime solvers in the history of the world. That would be one of the greatest uh, comedies ever, ever 
cast us as the worst crime solvers <laughs> ever. Um. Cigarette. We've done this already. Okay. Okay, so this has to have all kinds of stuff. Is that going to... Oh, it gets us back. No, I don't want to go back out. That was it? Okay, that gets us out. Oh, oh come on. All right, now, now. Let's go back. Um, Boromir Smith, thank you so much for the for the, the super chat. I think that's what it was. I don't know why you didn't get a didn't get a widget. That ain't right. Why do I drink out of a jar? I, I you know my my wife bought these mason jars. I don't know why it. I don't I don't like it. I I'm, I'm used to it, but yeah, not my, not my choice. <laughs> kind of retro chic. Retro. It's all retro around here. There you go. Moving up. Okay, so we're here. There's a button. There's a red thing. Have we done this? <clears throat> Boink. And this takes us... Is this new or is this the same thing? Well, I is this the theater? Oh, oh, it's <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I think this is going to come in handy when we when mm -hmm. we play when we when the the bad stuff hits the fan here. Yeah. So well, that's good to know. All right. So there's that possible escape route. Oh no no no. We're just going back down. And then we've done that's the cigarette. Oh. Is there any other place to go? This way. Can we go down f further? Do you think this is does this put us where do you think this takes us? Um This looks maybe the Is this the theater? Oh, this Maybe. puts us back up. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So one of these takes us to another one. So you were wanting to go down further, so here we go. Okay, good. Oh, you're working hard. <laughs> I just spoke to, to Vjoy on uh, on Saturday. Um, oh. Yeah, it was a del cool. she's delightful. It was really, really fun, and she had some some fun memories and such. Um, all right, so we got those two things. We got this and this. So when are you gonna, when are we gonna be able to see those? Uh, well, Steve Bailey will be, we're going to broadcast his interview on June, the Sunday, June 5th or 6th, whichever that Sunday is. And then two weeks after that, we'll do VJoy. So I'm starting to just accumulate interviews and then we're just gonna, we're gonna to try to parse them out a bit, unless people are dying to see them in, in advance, in which case we might come up with a reason, a fun way to do that. All right, we're out of here. So remember there was, oh, this is gonna take me back. That takes us back into the theater. Okay, so let's go, let's go back into the theater. Oh no, but we can't get. Well, so. Damn, must only open from the other side. That scrutiny you were on before. There's a third direction. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what it felt like. Is there a way to get back in through here? Or do I have to, can anybody tell us if there's a way to get back in through this door so we can find that extra direction? Don't go that way, says Veal. Sorry. Anybody? Chapel. Oh. Chapel. Chapel. the chapel let's should we go back to the should we go to the chapel so don't go back into here 
That third direction takes you into the chapel. So just go into that room because what you can find is in there. Okay, so remind me where the chapel is. Uh, through the... I'm going to look at my cheat sheet here. Through the library? <laughs> um, second floor. Wait, yeah, so where's the where's the chapel? Is it through the library? Chapel's the room where you unleashed Carno's spirit. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're down here. All right, let's go. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> So it's this room right here. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, go, go. And then we go into this thing, right? Um. Aha, there's music that tells us something new is happening. Maybe not. Um, what's that? What's that? Well, there we go. <gasps> That's exciting. But it sounds like we, let's just find out where we are here so we can find it from the other side. And then we'll come back through here and explore whatever. Okay, so where was that? So we were here. It's really, okay, so there was, we went, we went that way. We can go that way and we just came from there. And what was here again? Oh, Ooh. oh! This is where you fell in the hole. That's right. right yeah. And That's too far. Maybe a long jump. This, this is where you guys made your little, your little funny video. Yeah, I hope so. I'm, is there a way to get over that? Not yet, but I'll bet there is going to be something in the chapter seven. Okay, back to chapel. Push that secret button. Okay. All right, what do we got? We got, we got that way? Yeah, let's try that. All right. I don't think we've ever gone this way before. Or have we? Ooh, what's this? Mm. Another secret passageway. Man, they're everywhere. These buttons are just... Is it the same one? It's a different one, right? Yeah. I think it is different. Ooh. Mm. Only one way to go. It's creepy. All right, let's see it. Oh yeah, this is new. Oh yeah. We found this all by ourselves, didn't we, Tori? Mm -hmm. No help from anybody. No, no help from yeah. anybody. We don't need anybody to solve our crimes. <laughs> Stetler and Morcel. Morcel and Stetler. Not solving crimes for decades. Oh, we're, we're going to forget everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there anything on the ground? Am I missing anything? I think people, part of the reason people might like watching us play this game is that we make them feel so much better at mm -hmm. their, at, at, you know, any, any uh, inconsistencies they had as a, as game players, they realize they're, they're so much better than us. Ooh. Exactly. Okay. We got some stuff to explore here. There's that, there's that, and there's that. No, so these are you, you choose. Yeah. Look like there's the crypt, so a couple of people. Yeah. Zoltan, that's Karnovash's crypt, and that's someone else. So do you want to do that, or do you want to go that way? Let's look at the crypts. Okay, which one do you want first? Uh, the one I'm closest to, maybe. Okay. Oh, are we going to see the, the, the decayed bones of one of his wives? 
Come on. Come on, Adrian. You can do it. Why are we trying to open that? I think the game is letting us know that we need to use a tool. Oh. Yeah. That seems like poker. Yeah, let's let's do a little, let's poke it up. Oh, no. Maybe she's working it. They're not going to make it easy. Okay, now it worked. Dang. Oh, we're going to do it. <laughs> the smell is awful. Oh. <laughs> she won't let go. Take it. Take it. Oh, but we can't take it. Seriously? What? What? What's the point? What's the point if we can't? We know we have to get that, but why can't we get that? Don't close it. I don't want to close it. That was weird. First of all, it's weird to try to take that from the dead body. You know, that's just weird. But then to not just complete it. So what's the point? What's other than just knowing that it's there and that eventually we need something to get it. But another <laughs> Ray Koopa, Adrian is like, oh, look, another dead, rotten person. <laughs> um, I guess we'll try this, but, but weird. it's gonna be the same thing, right? Uh, it's fun watching you mm -hmm. work work the tools. Are you handy? Are you are you can you use can you use the power tools? Are you uh, pretty handy? Yeah, yeah, nice. I can tell. Looks like you had some experience. <laughs> there you go, pry it open. All right, now we don't know who this, which wife this is. It's probably Marie, right? That's his last wife. Yeah, I wish they would show us. Dang, they really are. Like up close, like more close ups. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what can't we get from him? Oh, we got. Oh, yes. Okay. That was why. Now, please let us keep it. To my angel, from Marie. Oh no, you're putting it back? Yeah. She's not a grave robber. Mm. A crypt robber. We got Mojo to take it. I guess, but why are we, why are we here? I guess it's just one thing we have to do in order for other things to happen. Well, there are some things over here. There's a, oh, let's put that back. Oh, I guess we can look at this. Uh, oh yeah, MJL, thank you. You can look at Sultan Karnavash. Born 1853, died 1898. Oh, he wasn't even 40. Uh, Young, younger than I thought. Yeah. Carno, I found you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's starting to take agency over her yeah. her fate here. You were such a kid. Look at you. Uh, oh no! Don't. Yeah, there we go. What's this one? Marie, I found you. Marie O'Dowd Carnabash, 1865-1898. I had to do math in my head to make that work. <laughs> um, okay, well, we've seen all these things. Am I missing anything? 
Are we missing anything? Uh, we can't, we saw, we picked that up. We couldn't pick that up. There's two dead bodies in there. Um, so I guess we go toward well, this the is left. New. Yeah. Got some new stuff. There's that. What's that? Oh, another one. There are crypts ever. Sophia. Oh, oh. Well, how old is Sophia? Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to oh, see. Oh, kid. Oh, oh, there's the kid. Did he kill the kid? I think he did. We're led to believe that he killed the kid. So, but can we get in there? Can we open it up? No, we can't open it up. No. Okay. See, this is a well. The way we play, this is a. Know. We got Lenora Moody Carnivash, born 1870, died 1893. Ooh, just 23 years old. Yeah. He married younger that. and younger. Um, what about that one? Can we get into that one? Oh, let's try. Nope, 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 nope. Unless we can hammer some of this stuff. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Uh, is there one over here? Nope. Oh, shoot, let's try it again. Regina. Puccietti Carnavash. Oh, I missed the date. I can do it again. I want to know how old she was. 65 to 96. Jeez. 31. Yeah. Oh, you beat me. You beat me to it. <laughs> you won this math game. I won it. Marcel. I'm just gonna call you Marcel from now on. That's since okay. I since I screwed it up for so long. I'm just gonna. That's gonna be your new. I should have said something. <laughs> I can't believe you're too nice. I mean, all this time, <laughs> I feel like a dolt. I didn't want to make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. Now I feel I worse. Made you feel foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to feel bad. I want you to feel foolish. <laughs> You can get out of there, by the way. You realize that you could just slip yeah, right through. Yeah, those are pretty wide um, bars. Yeah. Boy, they, okay, well, we've seen, I guess we've seen everything we have to see here, right? Um, pretty well designed, this whole. Yeah. If you think about it. Oh, there, what's that? Oh, that's the same thing. Okay, sometimes. There's only one way to go. There's nothing up here. Oh, what's that? That goes back. Okay, let's all right, let's get out of here. All right. Um, all right, so we've done all this. Um, is there any reason to try to get back in the the crypts? I mean, are the these I don't think so we've seen everything right there's nothing yeah, I don't think in so. here <clears throat> all right if anybody wants is it tell I'll, anybody wants to tell us if there's anything else to do in this room i will i will welcome your input but of course you're all chatting about other stuff right now police quest four you're not even watching <laughs> us you're bored to death with our stuff <laughs> but we've, we've lost them we've lost them more so oh no <laughs> come back uh should we go to town? Are we going to go to yeah, town let's now? let's go to town. Let's go to town. No one's telling us the rest of the focus. Yeah. But yeah, everything's in town. All right. What's the best way to get out of here? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Boy, they just want you to keep clicking. There's all these... What? That takes me back. Oh, there we go. I had to click four times just to walk straight. I'm a little lost. Yeah, me oh, too. We are going to die so many times in Chapter 7. I think yeah. it's a good thing because it'll be fun to see all the many ways that you... Yeah, just you, don't forget to save. Oh, we should do that right now. Yeah, jeez. Good call. Tori, you're becoming a gamer. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm not sure it's I'm not sure it's a compliment, but we'll 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 take it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get back out of here. <laughs> let's go to town, shall we? Yes. Let's get the hell out of this house. Yeah. I think we've done a really good job of taking up a lot of time for what most people would get through in about ten minutes. Yeah. See, we were doing it on purpose. Yes, exactly. It's always on purpose. Any of what what looks to you all like us stumbling around aimlessly, there's a there's a there's a plan behind that. There's a whole plan. Yeah. Do we want to try the greenhouse just to find see if we can find the greenhouse before we go to town? Yeah. Do you know how to get to the greenhouse? Um, I'm gonna have you yeah. you tell me. I'm just gonna be I'll be the chauffeur and you tell me where to go. All right. So. Walk straight ahead. There? Yes. Okay. Cross the bridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now go to the uh, left. That way? Yes. Okay. Continue uh, past this creepy building. Past it? Yes. Like that way? To the left of it. Oh, you can't do that, can you? Okay. Then I don't know what I'm talking. About. I think let's let's, let's follow go down. Your, yeah, let's go down. You passed it. Oh, I think we're. Oh on yeah, the... then cross over the tree. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. There's a scene here, though. Let's see what happens. Oh, I guess not. Come on, you can do it. All right. There we go. Yeah, look at that. You did. You're. I did it. From now on, you are. Our, you're the. You're. Is there anything here left? There's nothing left. So we, do we ever get to go back in here? We can't even go in. It's lighting up. Nothing's lighting up. All right. Well, it's good to see. You. I like. It's nice to hear the ocean. Yeah, it's it's. Or the bay. Crazy. All right. What's going on here? Nothing. 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 Okay, let's go to town. All right. We have wasted enough time. Let's see if I can get us back. <laughs> Probably. <don't laughs> like All right, come on. I have to do that. Oh, boom. Back across. Was it this way? No. Yeah, to Go and the car is going to be down here, I think. Yeah, look at that, Mike. Oh, are we supposed to talk to Mike now? Or no, I think Mike now. ends the chapter, so oh, let's, oh, that's right. let's go okay. find some stuff out. Start it up. There we go. Welcome to Somerset. So, we have stuff in town, and we have our friend uh malcolm so what was what is your preference <clears throat> maybe town first and then malcolm sounds, what do you sounds good yeah <laughs> just a <laughs> random guy throwing a ball against a wall uh <laughs> i know we're going to talk to luann do we let's how about we go as far let's go as far away and then work our way back okay Let's see what's in the. So the general store. Yeah. Really? It's closed. Wait, was that you talking or was that Adrian talking? Did you just say it's closed? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was Adrian. That was great. <laughs> okay. Realty. Let's see if he's groping another another person. That's closed too. Mm, this is strange. <laughs> I watched you that time. I knew. <laughs> or how about yeah? You know, we haven't done this in a while. Yes. Click. Click. Is it? Oh. Uh, that's 
<laughs> me, Adrian Delaney. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to just try it one more time. Come on. Yeah, one more shot. That's me. Yeah, that's it. Ready? And click. That's me, Adrian Delaney. Oh, see. It only takes you a couple times to nail it. All right, let's go check out Luann. That's not a very good one, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, um, she, she's not. In, oh, there she is. All right. Well, Dang. We should show her the cameo. Yeah, and I think that we were told by numerous people not to exchange it with the rosary or something. So we want to keep, we have many options, like my understanding is, but one of the things that we should do is not, is to keep this this thing here, this brooch. It will it will allow for a certain scene that we won't see with the other one. Okay. Um, well, let's go talk to her. Okay. Oh, oh no! What happened? I clicked past the scene. I hope that didn't. Oh crud! How'd you do that? What happened? Well, I didn't know. It seemed like I didn't. It's it didn't seem like it activated, and then I clicked past it. So. Can we go out and come back Save in? Save just in case it auto exchanges. What does that mean? Oh, should I? Wait a minute. What does that mean? Uh, save just in case it auto exchanges. Yes, Ricardo. Exactly. Oh, it's something else. Daniel Alba. Oh, ouch. That's sad. Can I go back? Can we go back to the other? You know what we could do is we can go back to the uh, previously saved mm -hmm. thing and then just zip to the town because we there's nothing. Yeah. You saved right before we went to town, right? When did we save? Did we already get through the crypt stuff? Well, I said, I mentioned you should save. Was that? Was... <laughs> <laughs> Question. Do, so help us, guys. Should we just keep going uh, and having not seen the scene that I just clicked past? Or should we go back? Couldn't we just load? Nothing much happened. All right, let's just check it out. This is why you save early, save often. I think you just saved. Keep right? going. All right, people are saying keep going. Let's let's save now. Okay, I just gotta save it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh no, thanks. Just looking around. Okay, let me know if you need me. Okay. Well, we missed the scene that allowed us to um, to change the the brooch, which we weren't going to do anyways. So we just missed a, a moment of them talking and her saying, I guess, right? Um, mm. All right. Well, if they, if they don't think it was a very important scene, I mean, is it an important scene? I'm getting will other things not happen if we don't see no that one scene? is going crazy saying that we should have gone back and done it. Everybody's pretty much saying oh, okay. forward. Um, Paul on purpose miss clicking and skip a scene just to extend the game. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Did you see what I said above though? Says CT by CP. There is no scene to see unless you trade. Yeah, I did see that. So, okay, so we got nothing. We weren't going to trade, and I guess we're good. Um, all right. Um, and we've already got this stuff. And so <clears throat> should we go see Malcolm then? Yeah, let's go see Malcolm. And then... You know. And I, you know, I gotta say, I'm proud of us for taking what could have been a 10 minute stream and, you know, <laughs> and <laughs> stretching it out to an hour and a half, you know? Yeah, I Good. mean, and it doesn't feel like it's, I feel like we've been doing I think this has well. been incredibly entertaining and I think this has been sort of the best thing anybody's gonna see all week. So I got, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with us, all right. No dog. I'm having fun. Me too. And that's all that counts. Look how she has a little moment of like, is the dog there? Nope. I just love these scenes that you just we just spend all this time watching someone open and close a gate, mm -hmm. take out the crowbar and try to pry open a crypt. All right, what do we got?
Yes? What do you want? Well? Uh, oh, I have to give her something. I have to, what are we going to give her? This thing? No. No. Oh, we're going to run out of time. She's going to make us something? this thing. Aha. I don't even know what it is. I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> oh, fine. I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. Oh, yeah. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. <laughs> Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Where did they find her? I mean, that's just she's just a minute. She was she's she's great. Yeah. She's, I can't remember what they brought was. her in just to just to basically look at you sternly and yeah, she's very stern. Malcolm wants to see you now. Somebody mentioned, I think CTCV said he would find the scene that we missed, and so maybe at the beginning of next stream we will uh, we'll watch she that real quick. Okay. But I don't think we missed anything that's going to keep us from dying all of our deaths and oh wow okay here we go now we actually get to see the we get to see him this time i think so all right let's watch this oh this is great great old i remember yeah. what was it this picture i was just a young nipper of 10. Carno was my hero. Then. Your hero? Yeah. I know what you saw in this picture. Saw? Yeah. I want to see his face. You know, close up. People. Get up there. It's back. And my husband? <laughs> it must be too late for you. Too late. Too late for Don. What? Yeah, lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. Oh, this is good. Arno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But all that changed when he got the book. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed the demon. An entity so evil it had no name, no worldly description. This thing came to possess Kano, body and soul. Kano became like it. He became very powerful, and his his fame and and, and his wealth increased but he was cursed he had loved his wife Hortensia and their baby daughter but all that changed he became abusive I, I don't have proof but I believe he killed them both I believe he killed all his wives. We well, think so Malcolm, too. What happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days oh, okay. came when Marie took up with his prop man, prop Gaston Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. Oh, this is awesome. Had a new act oh, yeah, yeah. We watched this too, right? Feet of 
escape. But Marie raped the machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. It almost did. How did he not die from that? I don't know. I don't know. How did he escape? For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. But how did he get out? Two weeks. Okay. He awoke. Swearing revenge. Vengeance. Revenge. I saw Carno drag an unconscious cat. Okay. I was wondering about that. His theater. There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, leaving him for dead. Tortured and mutilated. It was Marie's turn. Totally crazed, nothing but pure revenge on his mind. Carno started oh, look at that, that makeup. Dark, awful machine, that awful contraption. Did you ever meet that woman? I'm sure I did. I'll never forget. Wait. The look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Poor Gaston was dying. This nice his final heroic. Wait a minute. Who's that? That's Gascon, the prop oh. man. Wait, he to my horror. Oh. I then saw <laughs> the evil. A demon. That's all I know. To call it leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. Carno was dead. Wait. My only thought was running away, but I, I hesitated when when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. I rushed back. Oh, for goodness sakes, that guy passages, does not die. Just in time to see Carno carrying the chest. Because he's not evil anymore. Held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I He's okay think now. he was trying to make his peace with God. As I long as you get one last cross, you good. Containing that orange book. Carnival Sada. I assume <laughs> the demon itself. Doing his purpose, that's And funny. carried it into the chapel. I really don't know what I thought I was doing, but somehow I... I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped forever. After leaving the chapel, I I then dragged Carno's body Jeez. back to his secret chamber, where he now lies. But wait, but he dragged the body back? Carno's yeah. not in his tomb? No, 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 that is Gaston Warwick. He, he was so mutilated that they all thought he was Carno. Ah. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. What would you do with Carno? And what about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, it must have been released. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was me. Oh my God. <laughs> Don, how did they get it into the book? That's what I want to know. What can we do? The only answer is the accursed book. With it, you've got to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Well, how did. Back to the other side. How did Carno do it? You have seen the book. Yeah. Yes. 
I thought so. All right, yes. young woman. You're the only one who can do this. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But if you can somehow get close to the demon, <laughs> here's what you can do. You'll need the book, uh, a holy item, um, the stone of Hammurabi. Let's write this down. The blood of a sentient being. Now, take the book and... What? What? I was just <laughs> writing it down. We need a book, a holy item. It's a, the it's blood, a blood from a sentient being. Uh, wait, that scene should have gone on, shouldn't it? Shouldn't we? No, I think... They want us to figure out the rest of it? Yeah, I think she's going to know what to do once she has those items, but... Book, um, holy item, there was one other thing, and then the blood of a sentient being, and then we need to put them all together and make a, a nice potpourri, a little goulash. Um, wow. Wow. We need to watch part of that. Can we watch part of it again? Do I don't. Got... I don't think we can. I don't think we can watch it again. Uh, I think we're done. Take the book and skip intro. Um, all right. There's a lot of funny comments. So let's. What were our? Uh, I'm going to read a couple of things. Well, we'll do that in a second. Um, how are you doing on time? You have like another five, ten minutes or so. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay? All right, good. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> I'm just going to read some of the commentary. Uh, he's do Wadu says he's got got some deli meats on his face. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Makes me feel sorry for Don. Yeah, because Don didn't deserve this, but Don wasn't very nice prior to that. We'll just say no. I loved your I loved your um, <laughs> I loved your the expression on your face. He's like, did somebody unleash the uh, evil again? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I never got scared of Fantas one or two when I played them as kids. I was watching Nightmare on Elf Street. That and that's why you, green gases, and that's why you should check a check for green gases in your chest every few years. Yes, Crescent Fresh. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, lots of stuff. Got to stop imprisoning ancient evils in books. Just a general rule. I think that's true. I don't think books are a very good place to keep them. Throw a book through the alien portal. Your salvation lies there in the pages of the book. Recite the passages. Dispel the evil. Save your own soul. All right. Well, okay. So it does cut out there. It wasn't just us. I didn't accidentally hit a button. Um, yes. Adrian will know, as you just said. Okay. Wow, you guys are just chatting away. I can't keep up too much. Um, uh, all right, so I think we need to go back to the house and say hi to Mike. And then we'll, uh, and guys, if you, this was a perfect time to come up with any questions you have for Marcel or myself. And then we'll have a little quick little chat and then we'll, We'll save the chapter seven for our final finale, our final finale. You're a good backer upper. Thank you. All right, there's Mike. Anything else I need to do? Guys, anything we need to do before we go back in and talk to Mike? Uh, dimension Y, Phantasmagoria, it's Dimension X. Uh, MDQP said, think about the late fee if we return that book now. That's true. That could be really. I just returned a library book uh, two years. Uh, I, I, I got it just before the pandemic started and, oh. I, just, and I just returned it. Oh, my God. Uh, Mr. Stetler encouraged us to ask a question. OK, we'll get that in just a second. Um, should be fine. Just need to do a very anybody. I'm going in. All right. We're going in. All right. And then we'll ask and I'll check out some questions. Some questions are coming in, I see. Let's just watch you walk through the door. There we go. Potential end of chapter. Mike, will you be my new boyfriend? 
Okay, you're all set. Great. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. What's the deal with the phone? This is gonna help us, isn't she? Ah. <laughs> That's it. Mike, have you noticed any evils? Uh, Mike, I want to apologize for Don again. Just hasn't been himself lately. Normally, he's a very nice guy. He... <sighs> really. It's just that he's possessed with evil now. It's kind no, of my don't fault. Don't worry about it. Don't big deal. He got a little bronxy. <laughs> don't even worry about it. Okay. Don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. I will. I sure will. Thanks. He was finding his character along the way. Ah. I think Mike's gonna die. Oh, there was a thing behind. Oh. Did you see that? There was a thing. Yeah, something's be something's behind it. Oh. No. Oh. G. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is that. That was great. Is great. Um, so the only way. Wait a minute. Do I have to start the next thing to save? I think. I think so. I can't quit here, right? Yeah, I think you have to just let it start a little bit and then save. Well, we're gonna see the first movie. So help me out here. Do I need to? Can I just? I need to start the next chapter to save. Okay, thank you. That was hilarious. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see do that in a second. But that cackle of his is <laughs> it's hard. It's it's very like pre Joker stuff or early. Yeah, it's very much. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pre Joker. Or maybe the original Joker back in those 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 TV shows we watched as kids, or I watched as a kid. Um, our first, our first, okay, the, the evil's unleashed. All right. Yeah, so this is his first murder. His first murder. Oh, his first murder. Oh, oh darn. Oh, he killed the cat, though. Second murder. Yeah, that's usually where it starts, right? It usually starts with the household that's pets the and then we get there. Okay, um, let's watch the first scene and then we'll, we'll stop. So I'm going to hold your questions again for a bit. This is going on and then we'll, all right, here we go. Uh, continue. Chapter 7. I love Saturday, October 22nd, 3.30 p.m. She's had enough. She's finally thinking it's... What's he doing there? What's with his face? Oh, he's putting on makeup. Oh, okay. Very Joker. times oh do, do you remember that picture i do remember taking those photos that must be bass lake yeah yeah you were so much nicer when you weren't evil <laughs> oh man all right oh This has been a rough day. <laughs> oh, he's getting a little carno-y. Yes. Picking up the cape, picking up the mantle. I think if I had any advice for Adrian right now, it would be to, to hold off on the reminiscing and maybe get in a car and drive away. But I think she's going to decide to fight. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Oh, look at that. She's... Here it is. I can't go like this. Mm -mm. 
Gotta do something. But what? But what? To so. be decided <clears throat> on a different day. Look at that. We're so close to ending. Oh Marcel. my God. I can't believe it. Yeah. All right. Let me move things around here. All right. I, I think a lot of people started commenting about how funny it is. Got to stand. Okay. Uh, has, were there, I'm going to scroll back up and see if there are some questions for Tori. And then, don't go. Oh gosh, there's you guys are having so much fun. There's so much. If you, can, I mean, we both need to go back and look at some of this chat. I'll, I'll go back and read it. It's uh, fun. What's the number for <laughs> Mike? Mike, a solid opinion writes. Mike, what's the number for a local copywriter? One who enjoys great T-shirts and malts. Hey, that's me. That's me, <laughs> Curtis Craig. Um. Yeah, I, get, I don't really want them to hook up, but. He's better for her than he was better for her than. Um, all right, I thought I saw some questions. Victoria, sorry if this has been asked already in the past. This is right, said Brett. But what are some of your favorite films? I don't know if we have asked you that or not. Oh, um, mm, oh gosh, my mind always goes blank. I know questions. those ones are tough. Yeah. What's uh, the last movie that you saw that you loved, or what? Just it's just what? What are one of you know? Rather than your all-time favorite movies, what's What's one that you've seen re watched recently that was just as good as you remember it? What did I just see recently that I liked? There was something I saw recently. Um, well, I liked, um, what was that? I can't remember the name of it. <clears throat> it'll, it'll come back to you. Um, were you in this? Were you in Sorry, the same God. room, uh, the actor who played Malcolm? Were you guys in the same room together? We never saw you in the scene together. Were you actually able to? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He was great. Yeah, he was really good. Was he that old or was he just playing? Um, playing no, I old? think he was acting. Yeah. I don't think he was not as old as he was yeah. playing. Okay. Um, okay. Williams. Let's see what else here. I wish I could remember the movie I just saw. Don's been hitting the drain cleaner pretty hard, someone says. I'd like to think that uh, that was a good scene. Let's see. I need. Yeah, we started the next chapter. Continued and saved. Uh, I like the fire going while I'm trying to. All right. Any other questions for. Random question. Has anybody that's has anybody seen Alien Species? By and with much of the same crew. Peter Maris, Bill Crow, and David Holm. They actually created oh. a company called American Interactive Pictures. Oh no, I didn't see that. No, I didn't see that. It's okay. It's not alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are way up to date. Um it took Adrian seven chapters to finally decide to leave and then to still make a U-turn on her decision. Yeah. She doesn't walk away from a fight. No. Uh, uh, Coward. <laughs> has Victoria been involved in other FMV games or point and click games? No. Nope. No, nope, we both were one and dones, weren't we? Mm -hmm. You were in this. Were you in the movie Saturday the Fourteenth Strikes Back? I was. I was a vampirette. Nice. You gotta find that. Yeah, that was. Um, that was fun. Um, yeah, I remember talking to the director when we were shooting that, and um, I was one of the three vampirettes, and the other two vampirettes were like these models, and I'm like, oh, I just feel like there are these models <laughs> he said so you'll be the short funny one <laughs> yeah um that's great uh we, well, we might have to find a little snippet of you and share that in our on our next one if we can maybe somebody can, oh, can find that and send it my way that would be great um does tori have an instagram or twitter account and does she mind fall if we follow uh if we follow her i do yeah. i do not mind and i do have Instagram and Twitter. And is, is it just your name or what's the do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at my phone. 
I think my I think it's I think you just find it with my name. Okay. But my Instagram is Tory Bird. Tory Bird. It, yeah, and it's funny because I read somebody commented that Tory means bird in Japanese. Oh in, wow! In the chat, somebody said that, or not the chat, maybe the comments on the YouTube. Um, the, oh, I said the YouTube. <laughs> My son makes fun of me when I call it the YouTube. <laughs> I just <laughs> the YouTube, that YouTube thing. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of that name of that movie that I just saw. I can't remember the name. It's a really long title. Oh. Uh, oh well. Oh, uh, YT Wanderer. Thank you. I don't know why my 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 widgets aren't coming up. I, we're going to work on all the widgets so that it's better in the future. But thank you. You wrote. Thank you so much for another great time. Very much looking forward to the finale stream. So yeah, let me stop the music here. Um, okay, so here's what we all need to know. Uh, we'll do a final stream uh, either next Monday. Uh, Tori, you're going to be in New York, so it all sort of depends on whether you can get a good, uh, whether you can work it, do it from your hotel room and if you have the time. Um, if not, we might do the following Tuesday. And we did talk about a nighttime stream, but looking over all the, uh, uh, looking over the analytics of when you guys are, the, the, the bulk of uh, conversations with Curtis's fans are on YouTube uh, is usually around mid afternoon, our time. So I don't wanna lose people just so that we can, and actually evenings are kind of tough for me anyways, just because of family commitments and, dinner and just chilling and stuff. So I think we might just do our normal time. Uh, I think uh, it doesn't mean we can't have a little sip of, of absinthe or a drink of our choice, just to toast the fact that we're getting to the end of it. And we'll just try to carve out um, a nice long session. Uh, it might actually take more than two hours. And so uh, however we do it, we'll just, uh, just stay tuned. Um, we'll try to do it within the next week or two but we'll make sure that, that we'll let you know when it's going to happen. And then um, I think we're both kind of up for what's next. And so once we finish uh, uh, finishing, once we finish Phantasmagoria 1, we'll, we'll come up with some other plans and we'll have you guys uh, help uh, decide what we, what we play next and we'll figure out how to do that. So meanwhile, thank you all for joining us. Tori, as always, Marcel, thank you as always. <laughs> it's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank, and thank you, everybody. Yeah. And have a great trip. You're leaving soon, right? So you're off Next to. Sunday, yeah. All right. Well, have a safe travels and I will be in touch and uh, and we'll we'll see you soon. We'll figure out the, the next uh, the next stream. All right. Bye, okay. Tori. Take care. All right. All right. See you. All right. Um, well, thanks, everyone. Um, Great stream, a lot of fun, appreciate it. I look forward to reading all the comments that I missed uh, while we were playing and uh, we will see you. I'm gonna do another inside stream on Wednesday on Twitch only, that'll be fun. And then we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll continue our Gabriel night on Friday. And then next Sunday, oh no, I guess two Sundays, we'll have the Steve Bailey interview and then uh, V. Joy Lee after that. So take care everyone, have a great uh, rest of your week. And we'll see you soon. Hopefully see you on, on Wednesday. All right. Take care. Bye. I'm going to find use this little intro, this little clip to, to take me out. Here we go. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Corporal Hicks. Appreciate it. I'm going to read it as I go out here. Thanks for the stream, Tori and Paul. Hope the weeklies can continue somehow after Phantas 1 is done. All right. Good night. Take care, guys.